Good morning. Good morning. Or good afternoon or good evening, whatever time you're watching this, if you're watching the replay. Um, I would be Craig, this would be April. <laughs> Hi. Um, this is going out to a lot of our friends and family, colleagues, neighbors, patients, clients, etc. So we're going to make this casual. We're going to make this relaxed. We're going to have some fun. We're going to be a little silly. But more importantly, we're going to be informative and helpful. Um, so we'll kind of get going here in just a second as people jump on. What I'm going to encourage you guys to do, whenever you do jump on, is stay to the end. Um, the best part is at the end. We'll also be doing a little Q&A, which we'll talk about. Uh, I'll be doing most of the presenting. Just talk, 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 talk. Um, hopefully I'll make you laugh once in a while. And I will hopefully certainly make you think. Um, and when you think differently, you act differently, especially when it comes to diet. So this is going to be a game changer in terms of changing your mindset and approach to diet across the board. But stay with us all the way through. Even if you just have to listen to us, you have to do something at home, that's totally fine. Just stick with it. Um, we're going to probably roll, roll around 30 to 40 minutes, hopefully maximum. Um, yeah. Questions? Um, ask questions, either at the end or as the... Facebook live event is going if it's super important I may interrupt him and have him answer the question right then and there Otherwise, we're gonna have a question answer uh, Section at the end of our little webinar here So please stay with us stay to the end if you like something or something makes you laugh kind of chime in and interact with us um, That way we know you're there. We know uh, kind of what points to hit on in the future as well So we want your feedback. This is our first Facebook live event for something like this. So we really want your feedback. We want you to stay with us. And again, please ask questions either through the event or at the end. Yep. So I'm going to be on the front end. April's going to be behind the scenes, behind the camera, on her phone, on another computer. So you have kind of access to us both. Mm -hmm. And in fact, when she walks away right now, she's going to put her personal email, her office email, in the comment section. So if you guys have any questions, needs, issues, whatever, during the event and or after, even if it's days after, mm -hmm. you can go to her. Because I'm kind of the, the education guy on the front end. She's the how to get it done on the back end. So if you have problems, issues, questions, or you need something, she's your go-to gal because she can get it done. Good? I think it's good. Let's get going. Let's get going. All right. Okay. So as far as diet goes, I've done diet. We've done diet personally all kinds of different ways. I've coached people on diets all kinds of different ways, from easy and obvious to complicated and cool, from expensive to inexpensive, from fads to not so fad-like. Um, I've done it all, personally and professionally. And the reason I like this one simple change concept is, even for myself, but more importantly for everybody else out there that I try to help, friends, family, patients, when you keep it simple, that's how you keep it successful. As we go into 2018, when this is being recorded, a lot of people have New Year's resolutions, right? And they're trying to do too much. They're trying to make it too hard. They're complicating things. We have a slide on this on why that's a big no-no. I think that if you start with something simple, easy, and obvious, and doable on a daily basis, but yet still beneficial and profound, that is the first and most obvious place to start making your lifestyle, i.e. your diet, better. So this is not necessarily a diet, your traditional fad diet, to get you to shrink a little and only temporary, only to be left with gaining it back later on or be depressed that it didn't work or it didn't last long enough. Done that. It's miserable for me. It's miserable for people that participate. So I don't participate in that model, that mindset for dieting any longer. It's not about dieting to get a short-term fix. It's about changing your diet, upgrading, adjusting your diet to make your body work better so it lasts longer. If your body's working better, of course your metabolism is going to work better and it's going to make it easier for you to lose weight. If your body's working better because you've tweaked your diet like we do with one simple change and maybe a few others, it helps with the inflammations, the itises, the conditions, the ailments, the diagnoses, whatever they may be. When your body's working better, it does what it's designed to do, it thrives. So I think this is one of the key things that we teach inside our offices. It's applicable to everybody, man, woman, child, whatever issue, ailment they may be trying to get rid of or result they're trying to achieve, this is about making the body work better from the inside out and do it simply. Um, so I call this your seriousness factor. A lot of people go into trying to change their diet with a very low seriousness factor about them. Um, eh, I'm gonna try it, you know, the holidays were rough, I should probably make some improvements because I ate horrible. That's a really low seriousness factor. 
Um, I'm trying to lose a couple pounds. I still think that's a little a bit of a low or too low of a seriousness factor. When you shift to an opposite paradigm or mindset or approach and you raise the seriousness factor, such as the case that I want to make it to 90 or 100 or at least 80 something, I want to be ailment disease free, I don't want to be in the nursing home, I don't want to put my family and my friends through strife and agony watching my body fall apart or the financial burden that comes with the diseases. When you raise your seriousness factor up, that's how you set yourself up for success with changing your diet, okay? So I'm hoping that we can at least raise the seriousness factor of why you would want to change your diet and why you would want to implement one simple change and then advance from there by adding more changes, right? So with that being said, this is the number one strategy we could possibly ever share with you. Um, let's do it. Here's the overview. It's actually pretty short and simple and straightforward. It's six common problems that almost everybody faces whether they realize it or not. And once I show you how to overcome those problems or not partake in those problems, I'm gonna come in and give you one simple solution or change. It's what we've done, it's what we've coached hundreds of people to do with great success, and hopefully you'll see the logic behind it all here shortly. Problem number one, whether you're aware of this or not, or whether you're in denial or not, we are not getting enough nutrients from fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. And I emphasize daily, because when I interview and ask people, how are you doing with your diet? I get a lot of false answers or hyperinflated answers. Um, if you're honest with yourself, you just realize that it's really hard to get what you're supposed to get every single day. We want to recognize that as an obstacle or a problem. And we want to say that's real. And we have to overcome that if we truly want to be healthy, maintain health, and prevent disease. That's just a truth. It's a, right? So, where are you at with that? Do you understand that? Do you agree with that statement? Or is that a little harsh? Or is that a little obvious? Either way, if we start here, we're on the right path. So if that's a problem that almost everybody faces, kids, adults, it doesn't matter. We're not getting enough nutrients on a daily basis. How do we overcome that problem? If we're gonna change our diet, this has gotta be part of the solution, or the part, we've gotta find a solution to this problem, right? Now here's another problem that people have issues with, or maybe just aren't even aware of. Dysfunction and disease is increasing due to deficiency. I blame my health, the fact that our bodies are aging better than most people our age and perform better most perform better than, <laughs> better than most people our age, largely due to chiropractic and how it stimulates the nervous system and keeps the nervous system healthy. But we also blame it on nutrition and the fact that our biochemistry has been upgraded and is consistently maintained to avoid deficiency which promotes disease and dysfunction. And what do I mean by disease and dysfunction? Disease is obvious. Dysfunction is you don't have energy. Your metabolism is not working. It's slowing down as you get older. That's not necessarily natural. That's just a function of deficiency over time. Lack of energy, lack of sleep, bad mood. Um, anywhere that your body is just not performing like it did 10 years ago, 20 years ago, that's your body's way of letting you know something's wrong, something's missing. And it's largely due to nutritional deficiency, small amounts over long periods of time. So when we recognize that that is a problem, and it's not, it's gonna keep us from getting what we want, which is to be healthy and vibrant and energetic and sleep good for the next several decades, we gotta find a solution for that, right? Okay, here's another problem or obstacle that we gotta address, we gotta recognize, and we have to find a solution for. Our food supply is becoming more deficient over time. It's been this way for a long, long, long time. It's a sad truth, it's an inconvenient truth, but it's one we have to recognize. That we are producing so much food for so many people, let's just say here in the United States, that the soil is becoming depleted. So even when you do buy organic food or buy healthier versions, it still doesn't have the same nutrient quality or density it had decades ago. And it keeps getting worse every decade or every year. So it's actually getting harder and harder for us to fix nutritional deficiency, to give our body the building blocks and all the nutritional tools and everything that it needs to promote health and prevent disease from our food alone. It's sad truth, but once you recognize that, I ignored it for a while, I don't encourage you to know, ignore it any longer, you just simply want to say it is what it is, where's my solution? What do I do about it? How do I get some certainty? What's my insurance policy that I can get against a poor diet, right? And that's kind of how April and I've been thinking over the years 
And that's where we implemented this, and that's where we actually kept implementing more, which I'll share more with you in future videos focused on different topics. But let's just stay on the topic of one simple change solving at least six, if not more, problems. Number four, we make improving our diet too darn difficult. Probably one of the major issues across the board is people are making it harder than it needs to be. I, again, I've coached a lot of people on different types of diets and they get all excited and some of them, maybe many of them, do well initially, but it's not sustainable. Eventually they fail, they falter, they fumble, and they go on to some other fad or some other trick or gimmick. And we repeat that cycle. We gotta break that cycle and say, how do I make it easy, set myself, my family up for success and once that's locked into our lifestyle and it's just easy, it's obvious, it's sustainable, I can't see myself ever stop doing it, then what's the next thing I can add on top of that? That should be our mindset. If you look at the average fad diet, that's why they call it a fad diet, because it's transient, right? It's gonna be replaced by the next fad diet. It does not give you the success that you really want from a diet or a diet improvement or diet change, okay? Number five, who can you trust for solutions, for advice. This is another big issue in the nutrition and diet world. A lot of stuff that is actually being taught by people that have degrees in nutrition and diet world, it's really old, old, old and inaccurate stuff. A lot of it's misinformation. There's a lot of stuff behind that. I'm not gonna go into that. It's just, I don't trust them. Uh, a lot of stuff they say just doesn't make any sense. It's illogical. Then you got a lot of people that have different types of businesses selling diet plans, programs, products, etc., etc. My recommendation is find the smartest, healthiest people in your world, in your circle of influence. Who do you know that is a picture of health, that lives it every day, that practices what they preach, that takes what they tell you to take, that does what they tell you to do, because you can see in them that it's working. And that is what you want. That kind of level, that kind of focus, that kind of clarity, energy, that kind of, that level of health, that's what you want. So what are they doing, right? Those are the people that you can usually trust. Does that make sense? Okay. Number six, a lot of people think that, well, my diet's horrible, so I'll just take, you know, supplements. I'll just go to Walgreens or Rite Aid or GNC or the vitamin shop right? And I'll get some vitamins and that's going to solve my problem. No, that's not true, unfortunately. I wish it were, but it's not. And in some future live video, I'll, I'll just focus on only this topic for you. But I'm going to give you a little insight, a clip noted version of what I've put countless hours into researching and figuring out and studying for myself so I can make the right decisions and then help you make the right decisions faster. Synthetic supplements cannot solve this problem of nutritional deficiency that is creating dysfunction and disease over time in almost everybody, even the kids, especially the kids nowadays, right? So here's some an insight, a quick insider secret or behind the scenes look at kind of what I know and how I made decisions. Different labels on different products. It's really hard to understand what you're buying. I get that. Most people have no clue what they're buying, so they usually just go with more, bigger, right? Or, or worst case scenario, what's the discount? How much can I buy? Buy in bulk, buy the cheapest. Those are all wrong <laughs> roads to go down. Those are all bad decision-making mindsets. So here's an insider look at how to analyze. If you actually watch this video or when this video is done, go to your cabinet and look at what you're taking every day. If you are taking a multivitamin, right? Look and see if it has a USP label. It should not, it should have a food label because that's what you're really missing is the nutrients from food, in food form, from vegetables, fruits, etc. right? So if you're not getting that every single day in your food and you want to improve your diet to make your body work better, what would be the most logical and obvious place to start? Getting nutrients that are like food, but I don't have to buy, chop, wash, cook, prepare, clean and I can do it easy, easy, easy every single day, indefinitely. That would be the most logical choice. The most illogical choice when you're hyper-educated and aware is you don't buy synthetic stuff that was made in a lab that has nothing, that looks nothing like under a microscope and does nothing like food nutrients, right? 
You want something that does something like a perfect diet, but your plan B, it's still as close. This is about as far removed as you can get from this strategy. It's all synthetic, and people don't know what these words are, so they don't ask questions. You just look for how many words are there, and what's the numbers, and if they're really high, it must be good, because there must be a lot of good stuff in there. Absolutely incorrect, okay? In fact, I don't think this is just not good for you. I actually think that this is bad for you. What you want is, in a supplement, to supplement your diet, the easiest way to improve your diet is to get food nutrients, but it contains a food label. The vast majority of anything listed there, there's not a lot of math. If you look over here, there's a lot of numbers in math. The less math, the better. The less numbers, the better. Over here, everything's listed in food form because there's actually food in the supplement that you're taking to try to bridge the gaps in your diet to make your body work better so you have more health and prevent disease. Do you see how logical that is and how easy and obvious that is? But if you're doing it this way, you're doing it wrong. I did, we did for many years because we didn't know any better and most people don't know any better. And most people won't do all the hours and hours of research because they're not as pig-headed as I am to know the truth. So I do it for you and then I just give you the short answers the cliff note, the summary version, right? And that's what I'm doing right here. We'll come back to this idea in a second, but here's the conclusion on all this. If you're trying to improve your diet, for whatever reason, whatever your goal is, raise the seriousness factor of it, obviously. Know that improving your diet is actually far more important than most people think it is. There's literally life and death. It's literally health or disease, whether you do or don't, and whether you do it right or not, right? But the long story made short is this conclusion. You have to bridge the gap in, in your diet. And it needs to be easy. It needs to be affordable. It needs to be convenient. And it needs to be sustainable. It's one of my favorite words is sustainable. Can you see yourself doing something, a dietary change, for the rest of your life? Because it's easy, it's obvious, it's affordable, it works, it's convenient. When it meets those criteria I have found for myself, for us, and for anybody I've ever tried to help, when it meets those criteria, those people usually succeed with a smile on their face, okay? So bridging the gap, that's a, a common term that we use a lot with people is, you know what you're doing, you know what you should be doing, we need to bridge the gap between the two, and we need to make it as easy as possible, otherwise you're probably not gonna continue to be able to afford it, or to be able to continue to do it every single day for the rest of your life. And here's another caveat that I want to just help you raise the seriousness factor of making dietary changes. Some people are really good at dieting Mondays and Wednesdays, right? Or weekdays but not weekends. If you're going to improve your diet, you have to look at your body like a machine. It needs to be fueled daily properly, right? Not when it's convenient. So that's what I mean by convenient. If you can do it every single day with a matter of seconds or minutes, with the least amount of effort possible, that's when you found something that is extremely valuable in terms of improving your diet. And that's what we found, that's why we get so excited about talking about it and sharing it with people because I don't know anything that's this obvious, this easy, this affordable, this sustainable, this convenient. So here is what we do. Here's what we've been doing for the last five years, almost every single day. Here's what we've coached hundreds of people to do, which is make one simple change in your diet. Rather than cutting out a bunch of stuff, which is what most people do, we just want to add one simple thing in. Addition to your diet is much easier than subtraction. This comes from an old lecture, workshop, seminar I used to do, where I help people understand one of the major flaws is you're trying to reduce, 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 eliminate, and subtract. And that is painful and hard. It's the hardest place to start. One of the easiest places to start is improving your diet, make one simple change, is to add one simple thing in. Said another way, if you didn't change your diet at all in 2018 compared to 2017, you didn't take, you didn't stop eating this or stop drinking this or that, but you added one good thing into your body that was food nutrients in easy form that you weren't getting in your diet, you, your diet would improve, right? Because you're adding something that the body needs to it, even though you didn't subtract some of the stuff you know you shouldn't be eating or drinking. Doesn't that make sense? Isn't that logical? Isn't that easy and obvious place to start? right? But we make it so hard and so complicated because the traditional paradigm is, what do I need to stop doing? You've been doing it forever, 
So that's why it's so hard to stop and why it's so painful and unsuccessful. I say, we say, add simple. Make one simple change by adding one very powerful thing to your diet that's easy to do. Now what this is, is it's basically that food label that I showed you. It's food in concentrated form. It's not your synthetic supplement. It's not made in a lab per se. It's actual real food just condensed down into a power form. That's how you plug the holes, fill the gaps in your diet that you're not buying, cleaning, chopping, cooking, preparing, etc. That makes sense? Yes, you should try to buy better foods, cook better foods. We do, we're always in process or progress there. But this is what happens every single morning in our house to make sure that, well, if we miss lunch and we don't have a perfect lunch, we still got our daily supply of food nutrients. Our body is still has the resources, building blocks of what it needs to promote health, promote energy, and prevent disease, right? So we sleep really good at night. Yes, largely because of chiropractic, largely because of our diet, but largely because of this, because it balances our body out, which makes our body work better. So yes, you literally do sleep at night physiologically better, but we sleep better at night mentally and emotionally because we don't have any fear or uncertainty that we're missing things in our diet. And what are we going to be like? What are we going to look like 10 years from now? How are we going to function 30 years from now? We have a lot of certainty and confidence that we're doing things right, which is why we like to share it with you and give you that certainty and confidence that you can improve your diet by making one simple change. It's easy. It's also, it has to be affordable. Most people break the bank for about two to three months until they decide they can't continue on their diet because it costs too much. That's a setup for failure. I want to share something with people that's an easy ad and it costs less than a cup of coffee per day. It has to be affordable in order to be convenient and sustainable forever, right? So huh, what else can I share about that? Ah, This is one of my favorite concepts because I tried this wrong too. I like helping you guys learn from my pains, my misery, my mistakes, and my failures because if I could show you what they are, you can avoid them too. We used to teach people how to do juicing and detox classes and all kinds of weird, crazy, complicated stuff. And I'm not saying that stuff doesn't work. What I am saying is that most people can't do it. And most people, if they can do it, they can't do it forever. It's not sustainable. So juicing, ideally, if you had all the time and the money in the world, you have somebody juice all the perfect, clean, healthy foods for you every single day. And you're getting good food nutrients into your body. Your body has all the resources it needs to promote health, energy, vitality, great sleep, all that good stuff, prevent disease. That's in a perfect ideal world, which none of us, including myself, live in, right? So I want to find the next best option to that. Not to mention that the darn juicer costs three, four, five, six hundred dollars, right? But juicing, what does that cost per day to do that right? I'm guessing at least somewhere in the five to ten dollar range, especially if you're buying organic good stuff to juice. And then there's waste and cleanup and the time it takes to do it all. We tried it. We bought an expensive juicer which hasn't been touched in I don't know, a couple years. <laughs> I think like <laughs> we, need to, we need to sell that thing. Yeah. Um, we tried it, but even people that are health nuts couldn't do it consistently and indefinitely. That's why I'm saying if I can't do it, how can I, why would I teach the average person anywhere in the world to try to replicate my failure? No. I want to have you, anybody that's willing to watch and listen, replicate our success, which is the next best thing. This is this, just more in a dehydrated, concentrated form. And when you could put it in a capsule, a healthy capsule, and you can put it in your pocket and take it to work or on the road with you or on vacation. That's how you make juicing convenient, easy, obvious, sustainable every single day, right? <sighs> Brilliant stuff. Here's how I also, we also see it in our mind. In a perfect world, how could we get this? This is basically what we should be consuming. We're not because we're so busy, as are you. But we don't want to juice. That's not going to work. So how do we get good, healthy, clean foods grown in great places with good conditions, good soil, manufactured properly, not heated to temperatures which eventually kill the product anyways? And how do I get it packaged where I can literally put it in a pocket or in a suitcase or keep it at work in case I miss it at home? But how do I get it in my body every single day without failure, right? This is our insurance policy for our diet, right? So I want to show you actually what's in this stuff. Basically, understand this. It's produce powder, produce, what we don't consume enough, in a capsule. 
It doesn't get any more convenient than that. Trust me, I've looked everywhere, right? There are plenty of knockoffs and plenty of alternatives that are cheaper, but because they're cheaper, you're paying for a cheaper product. I don't want cheap health, nor do you, right? Which brings expensive medical bills later on. So I am okay with investing in the higher level version of this, which is Juice Plus. This is what's in Juice Plus. It's just in the, the green stuff and the red stuff, which is basically your vegetables and your fruits. Now here's the key that also you wanna understand when you're changing your diet. Most people say, well, yeah, I eat, do you eat fruits and vegetables? Yes, I do. And if you actually dig a little bit more, they eat a lot of fruit because it tastes so darn good, and they eat very little vegetables. And if you dig a little further, you say variety is key because a lot of different vegetables have a lot of different nutrients which are really good for your body and it needs it. What kind of variety do you, do you eat in vegetables? They'll usually list off maybe two, three, or four that they consume on a frequent basis. So the variety factor is exceptionally low in most people's diets. We want to raise that up. So that's why, again, I fell in love with this because every single day, this is what we're putting in our body. This is what you should too. Carrot, parsley, beet, garlic, broccoli, tomato, spinach, cabbage, kale, okra, and rice bran. That's just in the green version. In the fruit version, you get apple, peach, cranberry, orange, papaya, pineapple, date, acerola, cherry, beet, and prune. I don't know any person on the planet, I know a lot of health, health nuts, that consume this kind of variety of fruits and vegetables on a daily basis. I know some people that try, but they don't have this kind of variety and they're not doing it every single day. We gotta make it stupid, simple, easy, obvious, and affordable. To actually get these things and put them in a juicer, just do the math, make up a number. It's gonna be at least over $10 per day, at least, right? That's why most people can't afford to do it. I like this, I like that it's Friday because I, I, I like spinach, and I like kale, but I don't eat broccoli or garlic or beet every day. But I know beets are good for you. There's some good stuff in there. I don't eat dates, and I certainly don't eat papayas every day. But I know that those things are good for my body. So why not get them in a convenient form and put them in my body and let my body thrive the way it's designed to do? Create health, prevent disease. So beautifully simple. The other thing that I like about this, and I'm not going to stay on this slide, but I'm a geek. I like certainty. I like to know that what I'm doing is backed by facts and research and science and logic. I love knowing that. So you have to understand that this is actually, another reason I promote this heavily and openly, openly is it's the most researched nutritional product on the market. I don't know any other company that's actually spent as much money and time proving that this is exceptionally good for human beings to consume, right? 32 published studies in 26 leading research institutions from eight different countries. So there's a lot of smart people, people smarter than me saying, this is a good idea. This makes sense. This one simple thing could literally change your diet for the rest of your life for the better, right? Now, I'm also not saying that this is the only thing you should ever do to make your body better. But what I am saying is the most logical place to start because it's so easy and so simple. We do. On top of that, we layer it with some other things. But this is the foundation, the cornerstone behind our diet, right? Is this, get that done every single day, then eat a good diet as best as you can, and then stack some other maybe supplements or things that are missing from our diet, like maybe fats. But we don't put the importance on fats or vitamin D because our body needs fruits and vegetables every single day more important than that, right? That's how you prioritize some things. That's why I want you to understand this is the most obvious place to start improving your diet. But in a still, a simple but yet radical way. The other reason we love this stuff and support this company is kids can get it for free, right? If you have kids, nieces or nephews, we actually sponsor our, our family and because we take it, we can help our children, help our nieces and nephews get it for free for four years, under 18 years of age. There's a lot of details to this. It's actually quite simple and brainless and obvious, but if you have kids, Kids should be taking this stuff because it comes in gummy form and they're ridiculously tasty, <laughs> right? The only problem you're gonna have is limiting their intake, which you don't have to worry about because it's food, right? You just don't want them to eat the whole bag every day. But it's actually really, really good. It's actually even a good snack. And some adults that don't like taking pills to be healthy, this is another option or alternative for them, is consume something yummy, but consume something actually good for you on a regular basis. So when adults are on this or taking this, 
they can help their children be on this too. April is really, really smart. She's smarter than I am. She knows how to explain this better. She knows how to help parents, help individuals who don't maybe have kids, sponsor a niece or a nephew or a child and help them be healthier by making one simple change to their diet. So if you have questions about this, ask her, email her. We have helped a lot of families literally change their health profile by making one simple change. I cannot tell you over the years how many people have said, we don't get sick like we used to. Yes, a lot of that is in part to the fact that they're actually getting chiropractic for their nervous system, but they've not radically or in a complex, complex way changed their diet. They made one simple change for the whole family unit, and because the whole family unit has better nutrition on board, they're not as susceptible to the colds and the flus and the infections that other families are susceptible to. Adults are the same way. I hear the same thing. They've been coming to me for years for chiropractic, so I know it's helped them, but the only thing that they changed maybe in the last year was putting this in their body every day. They come in and say, I don't know, is that, is that possible? Is it possible that I didn't get sick this year like I did maybe in years past, even though I was under chiropractic care because I put this in my body? I'm like, heck yeah it is. That's how your body's designed to work. When you give it what it wants, it does what it's designed to do, which is be healthy, thrive, right? Um, how to do this? It's actually, again, we make it about as simple and easy and obvious as possible. April will put down below this video a link to where we buy our stuff from, where we buy our stuff for people in our clinic, where we direct our family and friends to. We partnered kind of with this company to sense and we kind of became like a, a distributor for them. We actually make it about as easy as possible for you to get this stuff to ship to your house. You don't have to pay large prices. You can't buy it in a store, at least not this type of product, this quality. You have to buy it from them. It's not that hard. It's actually quite easy and obvious. And April, again, is smarter than I am. She knows all the numbers. She knows all the details. She can answer all of your questions or maybe even ask you some questions that you're not thinking about. Because sometimes people need maybe not just the reds and the greens, they need maybe the purple as well, which is kind of like an orchard blend, which is all the stuff that you're supposed to be getting from or things that are raised in an orchard. The purple stuff, the antioxidant stuff. Some people, they need the shake component. They have a really clean, um, it's, it's not, is it vegan? It is vegan. Vegan yes. or vegetable based uh, nutritional shake. That's another good way of getting nutrition on board in your body. A lot of people are consuming not just bad supplements, they're consuming horrible, ugly shakes with bad stuff in them all day long, right? We'll do a video at some point in the future which will help you analyze your own labels, supplements, foods. We're going to be doing some really cool stuff on fitness, stretching, ergonomics, you name it. Anything that makes the body work better is what we're obsessed with and we're obsessed and committed to sharing with you about. So if this makes sense to you, which it should, you can order this online. April provides the link for you. If you have questions, ask us. There are some subtle nuances on how to do this perfectly for the least amount possible. That's why we always encourage people, especially in our clinic, to just have us do it. Let us know what you want. Let us know whether you want a lot or a little. Let us know if you have kids, and we can show you how to set that up perfectly so there's no mistakes, you're not paying extra for things you don't need, and you're getting the most out of this program, this idea, this strategy, you're getting out of it, getting out of it as much as you possibly can. You're maximizing your health with minimal effort. Love that idea. I'm hooked on it. And I'm trying to help you get hooked on it too. So that's what we got for you guys. That's the one simple change. This is by far, hands down, the number one diet or nutritional strategy we could ever teach somebody for improving their body, their health, and their diet. There you go. No punches pulled. That's exactly how it should have been said. Um, Q&A. If okay. you guys have questions, mm -hmm. type them down below the video. This will be up. If you're listening to this after the fact, there's going to be a replay.